Carl Pickering. Um, I'm Head of Research and Technology Strategy for Jaguar Land Rover. And my role as Head of Research and Technology Strategy is very much like Nina's role, but mine's at JLR. It's to make people aware of the world-class research capability that exists within MIT and to make that introduction. Nina then follows that up here within MIT. For Jaguar Land Rover, our research challenges fit effectively into five main research themes. The five research themes that underpin, if you like, they act as our uh, very broad research compass within Jaguar Land Rover. They are smart, connected, clean, capable and desirable. So I explained about SMART, it's effectively about advanced driver assistance systems and the road to autonomous vehicles. Um, the connected theme is about the world of the connected car. Once the car is seamlessly connected both to the owner, the home and the office, it opens up all sorts of new technological opportunities and new business models. So we have a research theme on connected. Clean is probably the most I guess um, publicised for low carbon electrification, trying to meet some of the stringent um, CO2 regulatory targets um, and that involves research in not just downsized engines but advanced technologies in terms of re regeneration of power from things like heat recovery, it involves battery research, so there are many aspects to the clean theme. When we talk about capable and desirable, the first three themes I would say will be generic to any automotive OEM. The last two themes, capable and desirable, are very specific to Jaguar Land Rover. So by capable, if we take um, the Jaguar brand, we're talking about driving dynamics and driving handling. And for a sports car, you can understand why we would want to keep research quite high in that area. The other aspect of capable relates the Land Rover Range Rover brand which is about how do we maintain leadership in off-road technologies making these cars even more capable so that's a, I would say a non-automotive OEM uh, specific it's more specific to Jaguar Land Rover and then when we look at desirable desirable cuts across just about everything so when, when I say desirable I mean making that car attractive or desirable that people will want to they'll want to look at it they'll want to sit in it they'll want to drive it and hopefully ultimately they'll want to purchase it having purchased it they will then enjoy it through every journey so in terms of desirable we're interested in research that when you look at the shape what is it about that shape that you say that looks nice what is it about when you sit in a, a, a seat and it feels comfortable. What is it? How can you quantify these things? And we take it not just from the emotional side, but we also take it from the physical side too. So for example, <clears throat> to make cars look even more aesthetically pleasing, we know that if we can make the lines even more sleek, so for example, A-pillars. A-pillars are very thick and they obstruct vision. So can we look at new composite materials that could offer the same strength, but are a lot thinner? Um, equally, door handles, although ergonomically very practical, um, they're not something that look beautiful. And as you may have observed, if you go to shows and they launch new concept cars, it's very rare that they would have door handles on the concept. It's for the specific reason it's, it's proven that they just look emotionally more desirable. So the desirable aspects of our research covers all aspects through, through, through the vehicle. So within the five research themes that we have, <clears throat> and as I say, that acts as the broad research compass for JLR, we have something like 22 mega projects. Now a mega project is a collection of projects around a theme. So we will have a mega project on, if I give you two, for example, we have a mega project on the self-learning car. So the self-learning car is basically trying to look at um, how we could use within the automotive sector the field of big data and data analytics. And how can we use that in a positive way to help the drivers in particular, possibly the passengers at the future date. 
So for example, we know that driver distraction leads to incidents. When people are operating things on their controls, it leads to attention away from the road. We also know that many people have repeated patterns. So for example, as I'm driving to work, very often I would listen to the news. Very often when I'm leaving work, I may listen to music. Similarly, on a morning, if it's cold, very cold outside, I would typically put on the um, windscreen demists. I would put on the seat heater. After about five or 10 minutes, I may get too warm. I turn the seat heater down. My behavior and, and that of many others is quite repeatable. So if we can use machine learning to start to recognize some of these driver behavior patterns, where those patterns exist and they're sufficiently strong, we could then say to the driver, we recognize a pattern here, would you like this automated going forward? So within the whole field of machine learning, there's some real challenges. Jaguar Land Rover design and manufacture cars. We're, we're not what I would profess to be machine learning experts. MIT have some of the world's best <laughs> machine learning experts. So it's logical that I would say to my team, you need to be introduced to uh, the people here at MIT. So with the help of the ILP, we facilitated and started a number of projects with our self-learning car research manager and the people here, um, including you know, some of you know, the renowned world best like Sanjay Sharma and his research group, Una May. And, and we're just starting um, with some of those projects. And, and for me to see that happen is you know, particularly rewarding. Um, and now we have serious plans to introduce those features you know, at, at, some, uh, at some point in, in the future.